How you doing today, ma'am? Good. How are you? Oh, I'm excellent. You mind? <laughs> Man, first I gotta ask, why are you on this app? Yeah, uh, I'm about to tell you. Um, I get on here and I ask people if they're okay. Okay. You didn't ask like, me. Genuinely, are you okay? I don't know. My wife just left me. But she'll really? be back in a couple minutes. She just went to the store. Oh, okay. <laughs> you scared me. Why did that? Why would that scare you? Because that's heartbreaking. Like that's sad. But people move on. That's true. And if you can realize that, like, good. But I just, I want to make sure you're okay. Like, I get on here. I'm, I want to, you know, if you feel alone, like, I want to talk about it. Like, because you matter. Well, let's have a real conversation then, ma'am. Why do you do that for people? To distract myself from my own depression. Mm -hmm. And that's what I thought you were going to say. Why are you depressed? Um, because I went through foster care and I don't have any parents or family or friends because I've been bounced around so many homes and I just feel alone. But I'm, I'm trying to work through it and I help, helping other people helps me. How, but how are you working through it when this camera shuts off and you're all by yourself again? I try to go to therapy. Um, I try to think positive thoughts and honestly you know I don't feel a difference I don't feel better but I try to just have a little bit of hope and I I work so I try to keep myself busy but to be real none of that shit helps with what I'm really dealing with when you say what you're really dealing with so when you the cameras are off you're all alone in your room what do you be thinking to yourself that I want to cry and scream is it because you have no parents or you just because you feel so alone both. I mean, my because my parents are alive. It's just like I was never important enough to them to, you know, raise me or even fucking love me. <laughs> I just I, there's like a a hole in my heart that cannot be filled because I don't have any family. Like I don't have nobody, and I I just feel like I it, with the holidays especially too. You know, you see everybody with their family. Everybody posting about family. The holidays, it fucking sucks. Like in the summer, I'm a lot better because it, you know, summertime, the beach. I feel good about myself, and then winter comes, and I'm like <sighs> alone. But I, I've been going to a new therapist. I've been trying. Um, different techniques like rewriting my thoughts as positive thoughts and and I, I i i get on here because i know that there's more to the world than just what's in my head and as you continue to go through this app to try to help other people what have you seen that a lot of the same people feel the same way that i do and how did how, what did they told you that they do to get through it a lot of different things, honestly, and it's it's pretty scary. Like I mean, what? some say, some say God, some say they can't be helped, some say um, drugs, some say they found new friends and new people. I just, I feel like I, I don't know. I, I'm trying, I really am, but I just, I don't know what works for me yet. Like, I'm still working on that. What are you expecting to feel? Honestly, I guess I just want it all to be taken away. Well, then, there, I, there is no hope then. Yeah, that's not reality. No, what if you just learn to somehow live with the pain? But it's almost like that pain is too unbearable. Like I can, I can cry at any given moment about it. Like when will that stop? What if it doesn't? Then I hope that I can, I don't know. I hope I can do something because I can't, I can't keep. You do, you have to learn how to live with the pain, like you said, like learning to live with the pain. And that's just, it's really hard. 
<clears throat> you know, when I was two years old, my mother abandoned me. You know? But I grew up to, I grew up in a foster home. Had a good life. My brother wasn't as fortunate. He grew up in a different life. Sometimes no AC. We're from Texas. Always in the heat. No water. Sometimes no food. You know what my brother does now? He's a great father to his daughter and his three sons. My brother still struggles. He still has his, sometimes he has his temper, his anger, but he's gotten so much better. You know why? He learned to live with it. We're not, you can't go living life trying to hope it goes away. There ain't no therapy in the world going to help you let it go away. You know what therapy teaches you? They're not teaching you to somehow be happy in the midst of everything going on. They're trying to teach you how to cope with these things. Have you struggled yourself and kind of like came to this realization? Of course. Did it take a while? Uh, this, this is every day, every day process. Some days I feel excellent. Some days I feel happy. Some days feel useless. Sometimes it feels like I'm living for no reason at all. But I just keep it moving. I keep going every day. Because one day, unfortunately, it's all going to end for all of us. But what you're doing, young lady, is getting on here and trying to help other people. And even if for the rest of your life, and it's going to sound harsh the way I say it, but even if the rest of your life you never feel happy, you help somebody else do it. And that's what gives me a little bit of hope. And that's why I do get on here. Like, I, I know there's more to life than just what's in my head. Like, this, there's so much more. And I, I do have a purpose. It just, I'm still young. I haven't finished school. I haven't found my career, my passion. And uh, I know these things. And that's, that's kind of what keeps me pushing. Like, I, I want to build a good life for myself. I don't want to be nothing like my drug addict parents, you know? I think you've already found your passion. It may not be a, this? You may, yeah, you may not get paid to do this. You may have a job and you come home at night and you do this. You know, I did that for a long time. When I used to get off work, I would go teach kids. I would teach Bible studies. I've taught men's retreats. And when I get on here at night, I have these conversations with you young people and other young men. It doesn't matter about the job. Because at the end of the day, life is about relationships. And you continue to build those. So are you, are you Christian? Or? Yeah. That's one thing that I've also been trying to do is is put my faith in God. And, and I, I've never had a good relationship with God because in foster care, they don't they don't raise you that way. But but I've been trying to read the Bible more and pray more. And it's it's just so hard when God's not directly talking to you. And I. I've always known God my whole life. I've always known that that's who I'm supposed to believe in. And it just, it's, it gets hard. Um, I just, do I just keep praying? Like, <laughs> <clears throat> you know, the different, you know, about Judas and Peter, you know who those are? I know who they are, but I don't know much about them. Well, I'll just tell you how their stories in. Obviously, Peter continued to follow Christ after he denied him and then eventually got martyred, right? Judas, who betrayed Jesus, ended up hanging himself. The only difference between those two is that one believed that he could move forward and God will always love him, and one took his life because he believed that God couldn't love him anymore. I'll tell you the simplest thing you can do. It's more, it's more complicated than this. There's more nuance. But all you have to do is every time you fall, you always get back up. Because you need to believe that God actually loves you. That's pretty much it. That's why people fall into addiction. That's why people start drinking. That's why people start doing drugs, like you said, because they lose hope that God can forgive them or God actually loves them. So they try to find it in something different. And I mean, I will say, like, when I do pray, I honestly do feel relief. I don't, my bad thoughts go away. I feel calm. 
but oh my goodness, with the temptation and the thoughts and the I just, I hope one day I can become strong enough to resist most of it, you know, because everybody sins, everybody does, but I, I don't want to live a purposely sinful life, I, I really don't, it's just hard. Yeah. Always going to be hard. You know, I just feel like you're looking for this, this thing that just doesn't exist. You're expecting to wake up one day and it's no longer hard. One day it's easy. And you're just like, yes, finally, I feel peace. You'll feel that. That's what it's about. You'll feel that peace. But does that mean you're not going to wake up? Because if you, I'm going to tell you right now, if you really want to do this life of helping people, you're going to hear the worst stories in your life. You're going to get up day after day. And hear people tell you stuff that's going to make you cry like you did earlier. You're going to hear what happened to these young girls, these young men. And it's going to wear you down. However, not everybody's made for this life to do this. <clears throat> so, with that being said, Mother Teresa, who passed away, I think, 2014. You know, at one point she said she didn't hear God for like 30 years. Mother Teresa. It, well, you don't know who that is. But Mother Teresa, she was, as we all know, a saint. Took care of people, the homeless, the helpless, for years. And for, she said for like 30 years, she couldn't even hear God's voice. She couldn't even feel God like he was even there. You know what she did? She pressed through. And then towards the end of her life, she was back in that life. All I'm saying, young lady, is just don't go looking for a feeling. Just keep pushing. Yeah. You'd be all right. I think that's that's probably a big part of my problem is I just want it all to go away and that's not going to happen. This is what I used to tell myself. I'm going to tell you one thing here. One last thing here. Last year, I went through the worst year of my life. I lost my son. I went through a very depressive state. I went through a very depressive state. Felt like I wanted to take my life a lot of days. A lot of days. But you know what I kept telling myself? I kept saying that this suffering that I'm going through right now can help somebody else one day, it's all worth it. That's all you can keep saying to yourself. Your suffering can help someone else. All right. Okay. Good talk, young lady. Well, thank you. All right. You have a wonderful night. You too.